Hi, creatives. Let's talk life-changing money books for writers and creatives. I love books that help me cultivate a more abundant perspective. And I haven't yet met an aspiring or established creative professional that couldn't benefit from looking at beliefs and actions around money, creativity, and commerce. It's just such a powerful set of subjects. As the amazing visual artist Beverly McIver says, quote, feeling worthy is a learned behavior, unquote. I just love that. I love that quote. And I, I have um, shared that quote in many of my presentations. And I'll say it again, feeling worthy is a learned behavior. It doesn't just happen naturally. So many of us don't feel worthy of a creative life let alone one that brings us multiple kinds of success. And, you know, there are lots of things I can't control in the pursuit of a writing and creative life, especially as an African-American woman, but I definitely can control how I value myself and how I cultivate my mindset about art, creativity, and abundance. And that inner work yields tangible results. So today I'm sharing some of my favorite books that intersect with money and writing, commerce and creativity. These books have made a big difference in my life and they keep me inspired. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle Tracy Berger and I am a scholar, an award-winning creative writer and a creativity coach. And I'm so happy that you're here. Let's start with Prosperity for Writers, A Writer's Guide to Creating Abundance by Honoré Corder. So I've read many books on writing mindset and also books on holistic approaches to money, but it is so rare, y'all, that to read a book that combines the two in a wonderfully accessible way. Honoré's writing is clear, compelling, and motivating. She draws on her longstanding experience as a writer and coach, as well as she interviews other successful writers to provide practical tips and tools to explore our beliefs about prosperity and writing. And there's not another book that I can think of that does such a great job interviewing a number of different kinds of writers around their sense of what made them successful, both personally and commercially successful, she talks to traditionally published writers, she talks to Indian hybrid writers, and she just drills down in those interviews. And it's it that's such a, uh, you know, really valuable thing for us to kind of study success. I feel like, um, you know, the unique exercises that she brings to the work are fun. And if you work them, they really do work. They may push you out of your comfort zone a bit, but the rewards are so worth it. Write to Riches, Seven Practical Steps to Manifesting Abundance from Your Books. Renee Rose is passionate about helping other writers find and maintain an abundance mindset to catapult their careers and create their best future. She shares in this book her journey to being an 11-time USA Today bestselling romance author and her ups and, down, ups and downs along the way. What I really love about this book in comparison to some of the other books is that her exercises bring in the body and our emotions as it relates to expanding our, our ideas of abundance. And to me, this approach is a standout. And so what do I mean by that? So we can do all of that intellectual head work around thinking about and doing the practical things around writing and making ourselves visible as writers and you know crafting the best work that we can however when we if we think about or say the words i am a prosperous writer or i am an abundant writer or i am an abundant creative and if our throat tightens if our hands tremble if our stomach rumbles and not in a good way it's not like that it's hungry, but it's like tightening and making noises that those are cues. Those are signals that that you don't believe that at some deep bodied and embodied place. And so what her work does and a lot of her exercises asks us to stop 
and interrogate those sensations and, you know, do some journaling and introspective work to see where is it not safe for us to believe that we're, that we can't be successful in our chosen, in this case, writing, but creative career. And um, the fact that it's a somatic approach is really a standout um, to me. Many of you know um, that I'm a former yoga instructor. I, I, I teach um, now yoga and writing classes, but you know, I paid for many, many years, paid so much attention to thinking about systems of the body and um, thinking about how if we're not comfortable in our body, if we're super armored in our body, um, then we don't have that kind of fluidity, that flexibility, both the flexibility in our body, but the flexibility of mind um, to really embrace some of the uh, challenges as well as new ways of thinking to take our work to the next level. Scratch. Writers, money, and the art of making a living. This thought-provoking collection of essays has an all-star lineup of prominent writers, including Cheryl Strayed, Jennifer Weiner, and Jonathan Franzen. And I would say this is less of a money mindset book. So it's not, you're not going to get those kind of how-to exercises and those self-reflexive exercises that you're going to get in um, some of the other books I talk about here. But more of a look at the ways in which working writers make money, manage money, or don't, and the ups and downs of a creative career. And I really appreciated this that this collection includes a range of writers who have worked as freelancers, translators, copy editors, script writers, and as ghost writers. And so depending on where you are, if you're um, if you're interested in writing, uh, you might be interested in fiction writing, or you might be a, a poet or um, nonfiction. Sometimes we forget that the publishing industry, the writing industry is really, really broad and it has a lot of different components. And I think this um, reminds us one of that great variety of, you know, what that, what the field looks like, but it also um, gives us a sense too of what does it look like for people who have weathered some of the ups and downs around this a writing career. So, so you get some of the highs and the lows, you get people talking a lot about advances or not having advances, and you just learn so much about the industry as a whole and to also feel aligned when, you know, someone like Roxanne Gay talks about the challenges historically of, you know, not making a lot of money before she had some of her um, breakout success. So it just kind of help reminds us that some of these challenges are um, just all, we're all along the path. Prosperity pie, how to relax about money and everything else. So I have to say, this is one of my all time favorite books about money and the creative life written by writer, artist, and all around creative genius, Susan Ariel Rainbow Kennedy, AKA Sark. Um, who I can um, proudly say this, she was a, has been a mentor of mine. I was in many of her programs about a decade ago. I had followed her career. She's amazing. So if you don't know her work, just generally, please go out, rush out and go get, get her work on, on creativity. But this Prosperity Pie, this was the first book that made looking at one's money beliefs and creativity feel safe and fun for so many people. She is an artist, so the book itself is illustrated. So you're, you know, working through these prompts that are both just visually very exciting and entertaining as well as provocative. Um, she tackles the question, how can we feel prosperous and creative no matter how much we have or do? And it's just, it's just a super powerful book. Lots of good stuff there. Really digging into what are some of our family of origin stories about what it means to be an artist and a writer or excuse me, a creative person. And also, you know, do we really believe that there's enough um, that, that goes around for all of us, right? That we can, we can have that abundance, however we define it. Super powerful, super fun, super safe, um, great place to start. Get rich, lucky bitch, release your money blocks and live a first class life. 
Yes, this book has got a bit of a naughty title, but it has been a game changer for me and for so many other women. Denise Duffel Thomas is a podcaster, author, and entrepreneur. She began her business writing. Uh, she began her business writing on her blog and turned that into an enterprise that has earned her over thirty million dollars. So her book explores the often negative social and cultural messages women receive about money due to gender socialization. And she highlights kind of common money blocks for many women and how to overcome them so that you can live and create a life that you love. And I will say that this book and her work has been so foundational for me in the last couple of years. And it's really allowed me to um, think more, why not me, you know, um, think more about um, what are the cultural messages and the conditioning that I received as a, as a gendered person and how that might have affected the way I looked at, you know, um, resources, success. And she talks a lot about, you know, common money blocks that women have that men don't have. A lot of times women believe if they don't look a certain way that they can't be successful, which is um, typically not something that many male artists struggle with. It's an incredibly powerful book. She also has um, another book called Chill and Prosper, which if you are more of on the creative entrepreneur side, I would also highly recommend. So I hope that you um, that your, your curios curiosity is sparked by these books and that you'll go out and kind of explore and just really think about your own understanding of success, abundance, prosperity, as it relates to creativity and commerce. You can find information more about me and how to join my creative community. If you like this kind of work, I'm happy um, to share that with you. And I love curating information for writers and creatives. You can join my community. You'll find that in the links below. And also, if you decide to buy these books, they're available everywhere. And I also have some links for you if you'd like to um, uh, support them through buying through uh, the links that I have. So thanks all. And let's keep thinking about how to create an incredibly abundant, successful, creative life that we love.